if you look keyboard this, we're going to look through everything about dominant calls. I'll be on the air for this lesson. I'll make sure I keep stuff very simple here. Can you like this video and subscribe to this channel as well? We have different types of dominant calls based on how they are formed. The first one is dominant seventh call. That's what most of us are aware of. The second type is dominant ninth calls. And we have the suspended dominant calls. So the question is, how do we form dominant seventh calls? Very simple. If you add a minor seventh note to a major chord, you have your dominant seventh chord. So this is what I mean. For example, on the key of F, if you have a major chord like this, this is a do me so this F major chord or F do chord, all right? So if you have to add this minor seventh note to this major chord, we have our dominant seventh chord. You can invert and get something like A, C, something like this, me, so, do, do, something like this, you have your dominant chord, better to can invert, so, do, do, me, something like this, it's also a dominant chord. This is just inversions, or you can invert it this way, still so have your dominant seventh chord. Do, do, me, so, something like this, also a dominant seventh chord. So, either this, this, back to your root position. So you can invert dominant chords in, I think, four different ways, all right? So that's for dominant seventh chords. Now, let's see how we can form dominant ninth chords. This time around, we're going to add a major ninth note to our dominant seventh chord to get a dominant ninth chord, all right? So if you have our dominant seventh chord like this, if you are to add a major ninth note, so this is our major ninth. If you are to add it to our dominant seventh chord, we have our dominant ninth chord. Do, mi, so, to, re. So whenever you see this chord, there is a dominant ninth chord. You can also invert and get something like this. Mi, so, to, do, re. Dominant ninth chord. Better still, so, to, do, re, mi. It's also a dominant ninth chord. Or better still, to have something like this. To, do, re, mi, so. So this, different inversions of dominant ninth chord. So you can invert the dominant ninth chord in five different ways because the notes are five. All right. Now, let's move to the dominant suspended chord. In the normal terms, this is a sus2 chord on the key of F, do, re, so. If you want to get your dominant suspended chord, just add your minor seventh note to the suspended two chord, something like that. So we have dominant suspended two chord. That's how we do form it. Do re so to, you can invert it as well. Better still can invert it like this. Or any way you feel comfortable with, you can do that. So we have two different forms of dominant chords on every key based on the functionality. So in every key you have diatonic dominant chords and also you have secondary dominant chords. So in my previous lesson I explained everything about diatonic chords. I said that diatonic chords are chords that are built from a note of a key. For instance, if I, if I have F major scale like this, any chord that I build based on this note that chord is termed as a diatonic chord. So when I say diatonic dominant chord, it means that the chord I'm going to build is going to have eight all notes belong to the F major scale. So you can do that only on the fifth note of the scale. So for the F major scale, one, two, three, four, five, we have our fifth note to be C. So on every key, you can build a diatonic dominant chord only on the fifth note, all right? So on the key of F is on the C note. 
So if you are to build a dominant seventh chord on this C note, you have something like this. If you check the note, you can see that C, E, G, and B flat has all their notes belongs to the F major scale, belonging to F major scale. If you are to add the major ninth note to get our dominant ninth chord, something like this. So this F dominant ninth chord. Better still, you can see that all the notes belong to the F major scale. This is also a dominant diatonic chord. So it's only on the fifth degree that you can form a dominant diatonic chord. Apart from that, if I build a dominant chord on this first degree, that's the do note, I have my note to be, this is a dominant seven. I have my note to be F, A, C, and, and E flat, although me so tall, you can see that this tall note is not part of the F major scale. So that classifies this chord to be a secondary dominant chord on a key of F. But if compared to C dominant 7 or dominant 9 chord, you can see that all the notes of this chord belongs to the F major scale. So that's why we call this a diatonic dominant chord. House. This chord is also a secondary dominant chord based on how they are formed or based on the functionality, all right? So now let me show how you can apply the various dominant chords in context, all right? So dominant chords can be used either as passing chords. That means you can use dominant chord to link two different chords. So if I have these two chords, my La chord and Do chord, I can use a dominant chord to link these two different chords. That's using a dominant chord as a passing chord. And also you can use a dominant chord as a substitute. It means that you can use a dominant chord to replace a different chord. So if I have a chord like a Mi chord, I can use a dominant chord instead of this Mi chord in the progression. So that's using a dominant chord as a substitute. All right, so now let me show you how you can resolve the various dominant chords. Every dominant chord usually resolves to a major chord. So to understand how dominant chord resolves, you must be abreast with circle of phi. Circle of phi says that C resolves to F, F resolves to B flat, B flat resolves to E flat, E flat resolves to J sharp, J sharp resolves to C sharp, C sharp resolves to F sharp, F sharp to B, B to E, E to A, A to D, then D to G, G to C, C back to F. So that's circle of feet. You can um, learn more about that. So that explains that if I have my C dominant chord, then it will automatically resolve to F major chord. I said that dominant chord resolves to a major chord. So using a circle of feet, if I have my C dominant chord, it resolves on this F um, major chord because the circle of feet, this is how the circle of feet behaves. The circle of feet, you have your C note. The note that C resolves on, you just count one, two, three, four, five. Five semitones ahead of the C note, you get the note that C will resolve on. So one, two, three, four, five. F2 resolves one, two, three, four, five. B flat. So just take note of that. You know how every dominant chord resolves. So C resolves on F major. F dominant chord resolves on B flat major. B flat dominant resolves on E flat major. E flat dominant chord resolves on J sharp major. J sharp dominant resolves on C sharp major and so forth so that's how dominant chords resolve so let's take this simple chord progression do fa so do there's a very simple chord progression do fa so do so let's assume you have this kind of progression that we are working on how can you use dominant chords as a passing course in here so you know one and 
So from do to far is a whole space, from far to so is a whole space, and so to do, we have a lot of space in here, so we can use dominant cause to close that gap. Do to far, hot dominant cord can we use as passing cord to link do to far, it's very simple. As I told you earlier that, with, the, with passing cords, we only focus on the target cord. So in my previous videos, I explained that with passing cords, we only focus on the target cord. So from do to far, far becomes my target cord. From far to so, so becomes my target cord. So from do to far, if I need a dominant passing cord, I will just take my target cord, that's the B flat major cord, falado cord, then look out for a dominant chord that can resolve on this B flat major chord. It's very simple. So to do that, you just take your B flat note. You count one, two, three, four, five, which will get you back to F. So we can use F dominant to resolve on this B flat major chord. So a progression do far. We can now play do ah. So that's using dominant seventh chord as passing chords in here. And far to so as well, C is our target chord. So we can count one, two, three, four, five to get us to G. So it means that from far to so, we have G dominant as a passing chord to link far to so. So it's very simple. Re, Fi, La, Do. This gene dominant chord being used as a passing chord to length far to so so uh, 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 i'm using dominant seventh chord only here all right and from far to so we move to so to do so it's also a whole journey so from so to do do becomes our target chord if you want a dominant chord that can resolve on this f major chord we have one, two, three, four, five. That's a C dominant chord that's going to resolve on this F major chord. So this is our C major chord. Now we're going to be using this C dominant as a passing chord in between so and do. So uh, uh, uh. the whole thing will be do. So that is, I'm using dominant seventh chord. The same thing as we did for the dominant seventh chord, we're going to do the same thing for dominant ninth chord. So this is my do chord, this is my fa chord, this is my so chord, back to do. So do, so this is my dominant ninth chord. This is just the inverted version, okay? The same thing. So I'm using this as a passing chord in between do and fa so do you see that do fa so far to so we're going to be using gin dominant ninth chord so that's how we do form it something like this but you can invert to get something like this fi la do Re, Mi, but this is a G dominant ninth chord. With the F dominant ninth chord, I have my Mi, So, Do, Do, Re, G dominant ninth chord, this is it. So, Do, Ah, Ah, Ah. You see that the G dominant ninth chord resolving to a So chord. Then from so to do, we're going to be using a C dominant ninth chord. So, so, see that? So this is our dominant suspended two chord. The same progression, do, fa, so, do. Let's use our dominant suspended two chord to link do and fa. So this is my dominant suspended two chord. For F. 
to do uh, uh, See that So from far to so you're going to be using the gene dominant suspended two chord. So far, far, far. And so to do, you're going to be using C dominant suspended two chord. <laughs> 